So, good morning, everyone. Uh, after the speech Yari gave, you know, seems like it's a, it's a wild world out there, you know. And uh, you may ask the question, you know, how the hell could Finnish company make it in this environment? And uh, for sure, it's it's complex issue. I've been inspired in our, you know, sitting on a steering committee of the Groove. You know, we've had this Caselli program, you know, trying to encourage young Finnish companies to go abroad and, uh, you know, make their way in, in the international environment and uh, also in China. So I've I've taken the angle in my my presentation of how to how to build an international company and uh, try to give a checklist of going that through and. Uh, First of all, starting from the from the mission of the of the switch, you know, giving a little bit background of the switch, and and then going to that uh, international point of it. So there's a lot of untapped energy in the world, you know. Uh, in, in Finland, we are still, as Yari mentioned, a lot of tied with the big units, you know, you know, big pulp and paper units. We love nuclear power plants, you know. We haven't noticed that there's a lot of energy around us, it's, uh, there's wind, there's a solar, there's waves, there's current energy. A lot of that can be harvested and uh, we haven't quite gotten our minds to it. But as we heard, you know, people over in China and US are much more advanced to that. And uh, this is the, the driver for, for our company. And uh, when there's this untapped energy, we build different equipment that harvest that energy. That could mean that somebody makes a wind turbine, we provide a generator, which you know, is turning, and then this generator energy is matched with the uh, power converters to the line. So, and if it's a solar power, we take the, the DC of the solar cells and, and feed it into the line. Or if it's a wave, wave energy, we provide a generator and converter package. So we, we turn it into energy that is, uh, is good enough for the local utilities. And in that way, we battle to the climate change. Uh, what's our business idea? We have a unique state-of-the-art equipment. It's a, it's a technology we're talking about here. It's something that has been existing in industry, but we have found a very good application for our permanent magnet generators and full power converters in the renewables area. So it's like a rolling out existing technology in the growing area, you know, which is, uh, which needs for it. Also a big thing is that we are not in a, in a project. So we are always providing our, our equipment as part of the machine, part of the system. So we deal with the companies on a continuous basis, develop products, and that products can be repeated and, and sold in quantities. So we are not waiting a decision on a certain specific projects. We, we have to scale our operations, meaning that our supply chain has to meet the requirements which sometimes are going up and sometimes going down. Very important today to be able to adjust to the market needs. Same way we make market-oriented partnerships, as Yari mentioned, there's a lot of regulations in the energy business. You have to be there out in the markets together with our customers to provide them services in the markets where, the, where this equipment is put to. And uh, our vision is to, to become industry leader in this area uh, and the new energy and by being the partner of choice in multi-megawatt power generation. What does it mean? Partner of choice. You have to be you know, serving the customer day in, day out. Your whole organization has to be built on a customer service. Multi-megawatt meaning that there's a, there's a transition going on in the industry where the one megawatt, one and a half megawatt wind turbines are, uh, are sort of a development is not done anymore. They are still installed in large quantities, but new development is in a big unit. So we want to invest in R&D and engineering, and that's where we are good at. What we have done so far, we have had uh, pretty nice growth. So since 2005, we have been growing five years in a row 
over 90% in our revenue and, uh, and uh, having over 130 million euros turnover. So we have been able to grow the company at rapid pace and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about the results with, with my team and what the people have been able to do. And also the owners have been relatively happy about the results and, uh, and also I have a frequent conversation with the investors both in London and most recently in New York City. There's a lot of discussion and uh, we are viewed as, a, as a, one of the most successful companies in the industry space. Of course, in a Finnish you know, scale, we, we are not so good. I, last week was in a newspaper, they men, mentioned that we have somewhat managed the recession, was the word you know, for us. So maybe there's some better companies in Finland, you know, that if this is a barely managing, but we try to manage our business anyhow. But this is the, how to become an international player. There's a checklist for you, so you know, just by doing these points, you know, you'll be international. Uh, I go very quickly through slide per topic, so it's gonna, not going to be a whole afternoon's presentation. Look for growing market. As mentioned, wind, wind power is, is, a, is a one of the few growing areas in the world. Look the geographical trends here. Last year, you know, the Chinese position of the of the world was over 40%. We decided early to go to that direction. Everybody was saying it's it's unsafe market. You know, they steal your technology. But uh, now today it has been the secure market. You notice there is sort of like a tilting point here, and now there is so much capacity that the China's proportion will not grow very much anymore in a wind power business. Look for technology trends. We have decided to take an existing technology, bring it to the market, and be the number one in that narrow niche with the permanent magnet generators, full power converters. And you look the area here, it's uh, this 2% and 6% 2009, the market penetration in three years, it will grow to the about 40% market penetration. So what it means that everybody is saying, well, the market is having troubles. But our market is the technology we are providing and it's the winning technology. So that's where our opportunities are growing very fast. Same for full power converters in the same time period, the penetration will go from 24 to 53%. I think it's very important for every company to figure out what you want to do. You have to have a strategy and communicate it well. We started making different designs for new turbines. Then we said, okay, we have to standardize those into platforms. But then we noticed that the market is moving again. Bigger units needed, bigger powers. So we have to be active and just keep on developing more you know, products for bigger powers and, and uh, higher technological solutions. So there should be investors behind the companies. They should enough, have enough money to turn the company profitable. So you need a good alignment you know, with, the, with the investors and there has to be a lead investor who can sort of coordinate the, the group of companies because if you add investors in early growth phase companies, it's a very you know, complex and time consuming exercise because always the investors coming afterwards, they want to have a better conditions, especially if there's no, no record for the company, it can be successful. And uh, you can be sure that banks will not help. As mentioned today, you know, it's really Tekes and Finvera is one of the few companies in fin or organizations in Finland help the organizations that, that are growing and they don't have much track record. Uh, I think the mechanism in Finland a little bit uh, fall, fall short after that when the company turns out of the small, medium size, then there is really nobody to help. Only help is coming from the editors of the new newspapers who tell that the company needs uh, growth companies. So that's the, that's the only comfort we seem to be getting. So. Uh, build organization with capable people. You have to know, you have to have access to good people that trust, trust in you. You have to build a footprint that covers the market. You know, it's not, not too many dots in the world, but the dots where the market is taking place. 
And uh, they have to be from a large, you know, right background and uh, knowing enough about the industry. And uh, you have to be able to manage this network. Very important also is that when you hire people, you hire people who want to be in your business working for your company. You cannot buy people, you know, you can buy their interest in you, but you cannot buy them with the money because the people who change company for the money, they also leave for the money. So I think that we have a, in the Swiss found a, a good group of people who share a common mission to do something special. Then you have to have an offering that is significant enough for the marketplace. So to describe here, you know, our products, once again, is a, is a, here's a turbine, here's a gearbox. The products we are making is the generator is, is turning with the, with the turbine, making the raw power, and then the power converter that turns it into the power that matches the requirements of the utility. So you can do it with the gearbox, or you can do it without gearbox like, for example, in this case, is a turbine where the, the rotor is outside turning and it's directly connected into the wind turbine. And here are the power converters. In this case, up in a nozzle, they can also be in the bottom of the tower. But this offering is, you know, from 10% to 30, 33% of the spending of the whole turbine. What I mean by that, that you have a significant enough offering that you get to talk to the high enough level people, you know, to to get their eye, not just having a small bolt or component, because then you are not important to the, to the, to the turbine manufacturers. A couple reference we have is GE Wind in Norway. You know, at the time we started, this was the first machine was built, and it was the largest BMG machine in the world. And uh, usually people have a small prototype on a table, and they say we can scale it up. And it's not so believable, but when you make the world's biggest one, after that, the marketing has been quite easy. <coughs> Dare to fulfill the customer requirements. You have people who say that let's make a market specification and, and then we, we have the best product in the market. Usually it's a, such a compromised, complex product, it cannot be sold. Dare what the customer is telling you our our concept for that is that we have a key account manager, technical account manager, that close, closely work with the customer with the project and the other people in the organization are supporting that. Of course, at the same time, you, you have a you know, relationship on different levels. But only only thing that matters is that you have a success together. If you sell us, you know, you get a high price for your product and uh, customer buys it, most probably it's too expensive and the customer can't make a success. And in our way in business, if the customer doesn't sell the products, you don't sell any either. So it's very important. So jointly develop product and the business solution. Business solution may mean that the customer does part of the product themselves. So you have to look what is good for each person or each party to do. Also, the production concept should be a scalable. What we do is that we have a, you know, in the design phase, the prototype zero series are, are, are made close to the, to the factories. So it's a technology-driven decision. Once we know how to put the products together, we put a, you know, IKEA level, you know, assembly instructions, and then we can, we can move the production where it's needed. So we have a good resources to give us support and knowledge for mass production ramp up, and we can have that in partners in Finland or, or in China or wherever needed in the world. And uh, use, use the production concept how you can control the quality in a big units in a high quantities, because usually this equipment is made as a project. Finland is very used to have a project business. And this is where we have a uh, a lot of training to do our new people who come from a paper industry to tell them how to make a, you know, make a production you know, where, you, where you control the quality in the, in the big equipment. And there you need a pre-planned production schemes and, uh, and good partner networks, ability to build at both Europe and China. And uh, this way you can get a powerful as I mentioned, very scalable manufacturing operations. Here is a picture of, of a 
a factory our Chinese partner built. It's a 43,000 square meter factory, you know, having enough capacity for the industry. Also creating the processes because you have to repeat what you're doing. It's not a one project, but you have to somehow have a, you know, processes that 